Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is an interesting number puzzle. It says a student named Aryabhat filled numbers in an infinite grid in the following manner. This grid is infinite. We are given the first few rows and columns. Okay. So first of all, let us understand the pattern. So if you see this, we are taking powers of two. So the next one will be thirty-two, and then sixty-four, and so on. And these are odd numbers. Okay. We are taking consecutive odd numbers: one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and so on. And then the next thing that we see is it is the product of like we are multiplying by two. So three into two is six. We are doubling downwards. Okay, it is into two in each of these. So five into two, five into four, five into eight, five into sixteen, and so on. So basically, you can see that this number multiplied by the topmost number, you get that particular row. Okay, so this is how we have to fill the matrix. Okay, we are not supposed to fill the matrix. We will see that if we can derive a pattern and answer some of the questions for some values, probably we will have to fill the matrix. Now, apart from this, we are given certain conditions, right? We are defined certain values. The first thing is given that the show value of a row number is the row number in which it is present. So, twelve is present in the third row, so it has a show value of three. Then the row value is the column number in which it is present. So twelve is present in the second column, so its row value is two, right? So similarly, like if you look at one forty four, one forty four is present in fifth row, okay, and fifth column, so its show value is five and row value is also five, right? Then we are given the row value is the sum of show value and row values, okay? So we need to add the values. For example, row value of forty is Four plus three, so forty is present in the fourth row. So it is show value is four and row value is three. So its row value is seven, right? So sum of rows and columns. The numbers surrounding the number are called its bandhu. So bandhu are the neighbors of a number. So for example, the bandhu of six are these numbers like one, three, five, two, ten, four, twelve, and twenty. So these are the bandhu of six. The yog is the sum of the numbers and its bandhu. Okay, so sum of number and its bandhu. So you have to add the number also. So when we add all these numbers, we will get the yog. So if you add these, this is seven. Uh, seven plus uh, this is twenty-one, and this is twenty-five. Seven, twenty-one, twenty-five. Total is sixty-three. Right. So this is how we need to calculate. So they have defined the variables over here. Now let us answer the questions. Okay. Now, first question is, what is the gyo value of thousand? Now, the key here is we are taking powers of two, right? So, uh, if you look at powers of two, if you break one thousand, that is one twenty-five into two raised to the power three. Okay, two raised to the power three means it is in the fourth column because it is one to eight into one twenty-five. <coughs> so, it's uh, you can say the show value is four. And we need to find in which column will it be. So if you see, this is one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. So we can say two n minus one. So if you have to find the column number, uh, column uh, like you need to take two n minus one. So that will be sixty three. Sixty third column will have one twenty five, and it will win the fourth row. So the gyo value of this number is going to be sixty seven. The next question is. How many numbers less than hundred have exactly five bandhu? Okay, now again interesting question. If you take a central number, it will have eight bandhus: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. However, if you take a number along the first row, it will have five neighbors. Like if you take three, it has one, two, three, four, five neighbors. Right. If you take seven, it will have one, two, three, four, five. So we need to take the first row. So in this case, we need to see it should be first row as well as first column. Okay, it will be in the first column as well. Now, if you see two, two has five neighbors: one, two, three, four, and five. Similarly, four also has five neighbors. Sixteen also has five neighbors. Remember, this table is infinite. Okay, we are just given some portion of the table. Now what we need to see is we need to tell the number should be less than hundred. 
okay <clears throat> now first thing first is if you count row wise uh, sorry column wise we will go up to one thing to note here is we cannot consider one because one has only three neighbors so we cannot consider one we will count from 3 to 99 okay 3 to 99 how many numbers are there 49 isn't it like last minus so we need to find the number of terms that is the last term minus the first term upon the common difference plus 1 right so for 93 99 minus 3 is 96 by 2 is 48 plus 1 49 numbers or you can say 1 to 99 we have 50 numbers we have to exclude 1 so 49 along the rows right so along the rows along the row we have 49 numbers and along the columns we will have 2 4 8 16 32 and 64 you can count manually also we just have six such numbers so 49 plus six more numbers we have 55 such numbers which have five bandhu okay rest of the numbers will have eight bandhus because they are at the center of the grid next question is which of the following numbers have identical show and throw values okay now there are two ways to do it first way obviously since these numbers are not that big we have just four digit numbers if it were some five six digit numbers you could have uh, like uh, use that formula let us first calculate manually and then we will discuss how can we derive a formula for this also now same row and column number these are the numbers that we are having okay now note that this was 9 and into 16 so next number would be 11 into 32 right next number will be 13 into 64 then it will be 15 into 128 okay next will be 17 into 256 and so on right now if you see this this is 11 into 32 which is 352 much less than these numbers these numbers are given in uh, somewhere in 1000 to 3000 in this range right 60 14 64 into 13 is not will not be any of the answers because no none of the numbers ends into 128 into 15 you will get 1920 right so by just extending the table we were able to get the answer now suppose if the values were very large numbers how would we derive it right so see for nth uh, row right the power of uh, 2 is n minus 1 2 to the power n minus 1 right that is the power for nth row right and column wise it is 2n minus 1 that is the number okay so you need to put the values of n and get the values like for example in this case it is if you put n is equal to 8 then we get that 2 raised to the power 7 into this is uh, 16 minus 1 15 so we got 128 into 15 as the answer okay so that is the general formula for the numbers of this format identical show and throw values okay but in this question since the values were small we could easily calculate manually also next question what is the yog of 120 okay so for this we will have to draw the table over here now 120 if you want to make this first of all consider what is 120 120 is 15 into 8 right now the number above 120 is going to be 60 and below it is going to be 240 right because 120 is 15 into 8 so 15 into 4 15 into uh, 15 into uh, 16 right now the number over here is going to be 15 at the top here it is going to be 17 and it is going to be 13 right now 13 into this is into 4 so 13 into 4 is 52 this will be 68 right and here we will have 13 into 8 that is going to be 104 and this is going to be 136 and this value is going to be into 60 so the double of this 208 and this value is 272 right so what do we we need to find the sum of all these numbers this is these are the numbers that are surrounding uh, your 120 now what we can do to add this is see this is the average of the numbers like 68 52 uh, so this this total is 180 okay this total is 360 and this total is 720 so 720 plus 180 900 plus 360 so the answer is 1260 and here's the last question 
which says that how many two digit numbers have gyo value of 10 what is gyo value gyo value is the sum of sho and ro values right now in order to do this question see this thing the row and column should add to 10 if you take the column numbers 5 and 5 right it's a very big value if you take 6 that will be 32 and 4 like greater than uh, two digit number if you take 7 it will be 64 uh, like this is 6 and 7 uh, like if you take 64 and this this is also uh, uh, a three digit number so we are not getting two digit numbers over here right so what we will do is we will see column wise so we will go column wise 987 6 like this we will go and we will see the first row in this so first row 9 and 1 9 it will be uh, ninth will be 17 because 2 and minus 1 we said that the uh, the value which is column wise is 2 and minus 1 so this value is going to be 17 right this value is going to be 15 this is going to be 13 this is going to be 11 this is going to be 9 and so on now if you take 2 and 8 this value is going to be 30 if you take this is 4 the third row that is going to be 4 4 into 13 this is 52 right so 1 2 3 values this is fourth row which will be 8 times so 11 into 8 is going to be 88 okay and the next one will be fifth row is going to be 16 times 9 into 16 will be 144 right so which will not follow so we have four such numbers so if you want to see in this grid we can use this uh, so this was now after 9 we have 11 13 15 and 17 which are 6 7 8 and 9 respectively so we see that 5 plus 5 is not possible then if you take 6 and 4 right so uh, 4 is 8 8 into 11 is 88 then this number is uh, 4 into 13 which is 52 this number is 2 into 15 30 and this so these are the four numbers which had two digit numbers and have gyo value of 10 so the answer is 4 so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions i hope you loved solving this set this was an original set which i created and uh, hope you loved solving the set so please don't forget to like this video